For being aware in the instant from this and other information don't forget to subscribe to our channel. When the Dale next sits it will be a very different place to the one Quipano Kaolain entered in 1997. He was the first Sinn Féin TD elected to the lower house of the Irish Parliament since 1957 and, as such, was a lone voice in an often hostile chamber. The veteran Republican recalls, lots of abuse, but he added that such outbursts said more about those who resorted to such behavior than it did about me and the party I have been proud to represent. After quitting a career in the Bank of Ireland in the 1970s to focus on politics, Mr. O'Callaghan soon found himself at the center of the anti-H bloc campaign of 1981. As its director of elections, he saw hunger striker Kieran Doherty win a seat as a TD for the Cavan Monaghan constituency, less than eight weeks before he died. Despite being elected to Monaghan County Council in 1985, the Monaghan-born politician felt his political ambitions were being thwarted by the Section 31 broadcasting ban. It was forbidden to broadcast interviews, or reports of interviews or statements, by anyone speaking on behalf of a number of organizations, the most prominent of which was Sinn Féin. He recalls, having fought three general elections unsuccessfully, the 1997 contest was the first that I was able to go contest on a level playing pitch. People, for the first time, could hear us debate on the airwaves and could make an informed judgment on our policy platform. The Cavan Monaghan first preference vote for Sinn Féin rose by 7,000 to 11,500. Quote, a job to do. While Sinn Féin's success was small, the shock was not, and Mr. O'Callaghan sees the same big beasts of Fianna Fáil and Fine Gael reeling again following the 2020 electoral surge. There was a sense of shock at the arrival of Sinn Féin into the bear pit of electoral politics in this s. Tate, he said, I was there to represent the electorate of Cavan Monaghan but also, as the sole Sinn Féin TD over that five-year Dale term, to represent the Republican analysis on behalf of Republicans the length and breadth of Ireland. It was a cold house for Sinn Féin. I had one support staff, Michael MacDoncha, later Dublin City Councillor and also Mayor of Dublin. Despite the hostility, we just got on with it. We had a job to do. Quote. But as the years passed, the TD saw a thawing of relations as members of the different parties got to know us a little better. They had the chance to listen to and evaluate the arguments we were putting forward, spent time working with us in the committee system and in the campaigns we were I. Evolved in. The traditional hostility softened. In 2002, the lone voice was joined by four others from Sinn Féin, increasing to 14 TDs in 2011 and 23 in 2016. But what does the veteran Republican put the latest and most significant vote surge down to? People have had enough, he said. They want an end to the sham contest between Tweedledee and Tweedledum recognizing there is not a hair's breadth between them on any issue. Clearly, the Fianna Fail and Fine Gale are in disarray. The only logical thing for them to do is to set aside their empty rhetoric and, if it is too soon for them to amalgamate then to forge a coalition in tandem with one of the smaller parties and get on with it. Quote, a single regret. Two years ago, Quifano Kaolain announced that he would not contest the next general election. His first post-retirement job was to cull the 23 years of accumulated paper that has dominated my office. He said his only regret is that he did not have the chance to serve in a Sinn Féin-led government. I would very much have liked to have taken on the challenge of a portfolio. My great interest has been in health and I would not have balked at the prospect of it were it put to me. That said, I am of my time. It was not to be. But it will certainly fall to others after me to take on these responsibilities. I have great confidence in the capacity of my elected colleagues, including our newly elected TDs, to step up to the plate and to deliver.